one of the commonalities of, that uh, patients express to me about uh, what happens as the hip becomes more problematic in their life is they say that their world gets smaller. You know, the, the size of their world is that they used to walk down to their corner market or, or whether they uh, go for a, sh a hike with their family members as they, they stop doing those or they, they don't go as far because they have in the back of their mind a question over, oh, is my hip going to put up with it or am I going to get into trouble out there and can't get back home? So their, their life functionally gets smaller and smaller and smaller. The sphere of what they experience, for example, travel. I remember a particular patient wanting to go to New Zealand and, and she had never done it and she realized once her hip became arthritic, she felt that she would never do it. And it was the profound opening of their world. I mean, that was what happened to her. She said, uh, the world has opened to me again. And that's, I've heard it in many uh, different ways, but it, it's the idea that all of a sudden the, the limitations are lifted. Well, I guess like a lot of my patients, I want to continue to be active, not just for myself, but for my family. I've got a young family. I want to be able to get down on the ground and crawl with my one-year-old. I want to be able to, you know, run and, and kick the ball with my, my five-year-old. I mean, those are the reasons to do this. You know, we're, we're just trying to stay in the game. That's what this is about. It, it's keeping that function, staying at the highest level of, of activity that you can. What's amazing is the technique now is better than it's ever been. The prospect of people getting back to full unrestricted activity where they're able to uh, be involved in very high level athletic function. I mean, that's, uh, that's here and it's now. I mean, people are, are doing that. And that's what I love about my practice is I'm getting people there. And for me, that's a very rewarding and fulfilling aspect of my career. I think one of the most common things I hear from my patients especially in the weeks after surgery, is they say, I should have done this two or three years ago. Is that so many people put up with their symptoms for far too long before seeing somebody. There are wonderful treatments available now. The uh, technology is at an all-time high. I think it, it's important to be seen. It's important to see what your options are.